you're here to give blood, we're always willing to accept. Going well for you today, madam. Brings you back to Megaton. Good to see you. That's secure for a reason. Ah, a fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome. All of which can be yours, for the right price. See, the world's a dangerous and unbalanced place. So I realized the only way to bring peace was to make sure that everyone could be dangerous. So, with a little bit of help from the mayor of Canterbury Commons, I set up this caravan. I can't give the weapons away for free, but I come close. Please, enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers.
Give me a shout if you need. Until we meet again, keep yourself alive out there. this water. You've got the one on the left, Billy. If he takes one more step, let him have it. We ain't afraid of you. You want to fight, we'll give it to you. Now just take it easy. You're not taking our water. It's a matter of Good enough. You stay out of this if you know what's good. Damn straight.
Keep your head down, idiot. Raider, incoming! If you're going to get yourself killed out here, you mind doing it further away from our bunker? I don't want your corpse sticking up our little patch of heaven. Yeah, the red would never go with all this brown. But if we remodel and still need a corpse, we'll call you, okay? I'm Defender Anne-Marie Morgan with the Outcasts. Good to have someone else out here who can keep up. We call ourselves the Outcasts, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of Zeros who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. Way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh in following orders, we're probably doing something right. We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might trust walk-ins, but we don't. But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Protector Kasdan would have to okay it first. We may be the best equipped people in the world, but we've still only got so many people out there looking to recover the past technology. Locals like you can cover more of the waste to uncover technological relics like power armor or power cells. We know their value better than any junk trader. And we've got more ammo stores, so you can expect a better trade for the tech. Okay, but first you'll have to talk with Protector Kasdan. You can work out the details with him. Protector Kasdan, sir, we've got a local interest in the job. Back off, local. I'm Protector Henry Kasdan, leader of the Outcasts. This had better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local, but Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So, interested in collecting technology for us? It's simple enough. Bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you for what you find. Big things like power armor or energy weapons are best, but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts, too. You never know what's important. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo, grenades, stim packs, or right away. I'll bet they're more useful to you out there anyway. That's what I like to hear. You can start immediately. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. Sure. Fine. Get going.
Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe, premier supplier of robotic parts and service throughout the DC wasteland. Various things. You never know what might come in handy. Pleasure doing Of course you and it's not comes complete with a simulated personality unit. So he's good protection and good company to Hey, I said it was a beaut of a deal, didn't I? But to tell the truth, RL3 is a bit picky about the company he keeps, and he won't let himself get sold to just anyone. Makes him a bit of a tough lot to sell, if you know what I mean. But he seems to like you. So I'm not gonna complain. Well now, that's a problem. But start saving now and maybe I'll run into you again, huh? Another glorious day.
got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. Sorry about that. I thought you were one of those damn ghouls looking for a handout. You are currently trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. You have some reason to be here? Is that so? And why should I believe that? You ever kill a ghoul before? Is that so? Unless by sugar you mean to sweet. Maybe you'll fit in around here better. And don't bother Tenpenny or the other residents. If you so much... Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. You got something to say? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. He and his kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. You serious? You don't know what a ghoul is? A goddamn disaster waiting to happen, that's what they are. Sure, maybe you can get over the fact that they look like someone took a cheese grater to their face. But it's what you don't see that's the problem. The radiation slowly eats away their brain. Then they go zombie on you. It's better for everyone to kill them before all that, if you ask me. You're out of line. Those filthy bitches can stay living in those metro tunnels. They'll move in here over my dead body. Whatever. I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I got. Pleasure doing business with you. Watch yourself. Hi. I mean, what? 